This is the argument where they try to claim that Muhammad, peace be upon him, tried to throw himself off a cliff. And I'll tell you what, to most people, this argument might actually look legit because he's quoting a hadith from Bukhari. But now let's read it a bit closer. It says, the prophet, peace be upon him, became so sad as we have heard that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the mountains. Now, for those who are unaware of the chain of this particular hadith, it's a quotation of Aisha by a Zuhri. And if we look closely, it says, we have heard. In other words, a Zuhri doesn't give a source for his information. But now the question might be, well, hold on, this is from Bukhari, so how can it not be authentic? Good question. And the answer is, it is authentic. This is an authentic statement by a Zuhri. However, the khabar, the information he provides, is not authentic. In other words, a Zuhri definitely made this statement. However, he doesn't give a source for this particular bit of information. Let me explain how this ignoramus, this miskeen, just deceived this gullible Muslim audience. Notice, Ramsey's whole argument here is the phrase, we have heard, which is supposedly a quotation by a Zuhri. According to Ramsey, Az-Zuhri did not give a source for his information. But is this true or simply another modern day lie to cover up the embarrassing story about the mentally ill, suicidal, false prophet of Islam? I mean, how can you trust a mentally ill, suicidal person, right? Or let alone accept him to be a true prophet of God? Notice, it's very important to understand that Ramzi and his Dawa girlfriends cannot reject this authentic hadith because it's still a Bukhari hadith. All scholars in Sunni Islam agree there are no weak hadith in Bukhari. This is a fact in Sunni Islam. So if the report of Az-Zuhri was weak, then Bukhari himself would have not included it in his Sahih collection, but would have thrown it out completely. Now let me refute Ramsey's desperate attempt here. This guy is nothing but a parrot who parrots what he has heard from other guys like his bigger sister Farida. Reported uh, in Sahih Bukhari. However, it's reported by Zuhri and Zuhri doesn't mention his source. Um, these are referred to as Balagat Zuhri. Um, as Zuhri says, Balagana, we were told, you know, by whom we don't know. And so basically this is rejected by um uh, scholars of hadith as well. Ramzi and his sister Farida claim that as Zuhri said, we heard it, but it's not Mosul or connected chain of narration between him and Aisha in this case. But is this true? Let me refute that lie specifically for this hadith. If we go to Tariq al-Tabari, volume two, page 298, we see the same story about the suicidal prophet Muhammad who wants to jump from the high mountains. But here we see that it doesn't say that as Zuhri said, we have heard. It actually says from as Zuhri, from Urwa, from Aisha. Pay attention. We have Urwa and Aisha in the chain of narration as well, which makes it a connected chain. So it does not say that as Zuhri said, Sami'na, or we have heard. So this is actually a fully connected chain of narration. Yet these liars said... As Zuhri definitely made this statement. However, he doesn't give a source for this particular bit of information. Do you see how easy it is to expose these liars and deceivers? Ramzi and Farid, please stop embarrassing yourselves. It's time for you to find a new job. Change the title of your YouTube and TikTok to Dunya over Dawa because you are not fit for Dawa. And stop repeating what you have heard from the other Da'is like Farid response here. And here is what the actual scholar said in Islam when they were asked, are there weak narrations in Sahih Bukhari? Uh,